Hi, this is Lou from Glowing Pigs International, and this is tutorial 9, and probably the last tutorial on this particular series on how to code music playing in a service. The reason why you want to play it in a service is so that somebody who's listening to the music can also go and surf the web or get their email and the music continues to play. In the last tutorial, we did uh, part one of creating a seek bar, which is this bar right here. We created a seek bar in tutorial eight that showed the position within the media that you're playing. Uh, and I'll just demonstrate it to you right now. I click play. It buffers. The music's playing. As you can see, the seek bar is moving. Now, what we haven't done yet is coded for a way you pull the seek bar to another position and the music will go there. See, right now the music will not go there because we haven't coded for it. So let's do that. And this is relatively short. And I'll show you. We have to do a few things within both the service and the uh, activity. The activity has to send some information to the service about where you're dragging this and then the service then has to uh, send back to the activity. Well first the service will move to that position in the mp3 file and then send back to the activity where we are so that the activity can continue from that position. So let's get to it right now. Just put this back here. And first thing we have to do is we're going to have to put in a broadcast receiver into the service. If you remember, we've done a few things with broadcast receivers in the past tutorials. If you haven't done them, then you should go back and do them. Uh, we're looking at, every, this is all the code that we've had up until now. And right after the on start command, we're going to set up a receiver here to uh, receive information about where you've pulled that seek bar in the activity. So we'll just plug that right in here. We're registering a broadcast receiver here. And right now it's showing up in red because we have to add some other information. Uh, we're actually going to have to declare it. So what we're going to do is down here right after we have this log media position we're going to put that code in and there are two things happening here which you'll see in a minute so we're instantiating a new broadcast receiver and we're saying, you know, the context is whatever the context is, which is the activity. And we're saying what we're going to do when we receive it is we're going to update the seek position based on the information that's in here. Okay, so this update seek pause is a method that we're creating further down. I'm just going to take this out of here. It's an extra comment. And we're saying the seek position is going, the new seek position is going to be whatever came in via this intent in the value variable seek pause. And then if the media player is playing, we're going to stop sending callbacks to the UI. Remember, we're constantly sending information to the UI, to the meaning the activity, as to where the position is. But now that we're going to move that position based on what somebody did in the when they were listening, and they're now moving the seek bar, we want to stop sending that information for a minute. Then we want to move the media player to that new position. And then we're going to start sending information again back to the activity so that the activity will now show on the seek bar the new position and continue to play, meaning continue to progress on the 
uh, Siegbar as the music continues to play from the new position. And you'll see what's happening there in a minute. So that takes care of that. There are a couple of other things we have to do. Okay. Well, number one is in the on destroy, we're going to have to unregister this broadcast receiver. Remember, we always have to do some cleaning up. So let's do that. Let's, and it's a simple unregister command. So we say unregister receiver, broadcast receiver. And then there is something called on seek complete, which says when the seek is done seeking, we want to do something. And let's just find that within here. There it is. And we'll plug in what we need in there. One extra. So we're saying if the media player is not playing, once we've moved that seek position to a new position, we want the media player to then continue to play from that position. So that's all that's happening there. And we're done with our service, so let's save that. Let's make sure we format that source. And let's save it. And we have no errors, so well, we do have an error. Let's see where that came from. Aha. Uh -huh. Let me see. We're missing something here. Oh, all well, this is saying is this this broadcast seek bar is a uh, action coming from the activity, and we haven't already put that in the activity. As soon as we do, uh, that will disappear. This red line will disappear, and I'll show you that in a minute. So let's go to the activity and put our code in there. Now, remember, in the activity, what we want to do is when somebody drags the, as soon as somebody touches that seek bar to pull it over to a new position. We want to be able to send information over to the service saying this seek bar is being moved. So the first thing we're going to do, we, we have to add something called an on seek bar change listener. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an implements on seek bar change listener after this declaration over here of the class. So we're going to say implements on seek bar change listener. Let's import that library. And now this is going to tell us though this on seek bar change listener has a number of methods that we have to add. So let's just plug those in. If we say add on the implemented methods, you'll see those methods are going to be added here at the bottom of the screen. On progress changed, on start tracking touch, on stop tracking touch. Okay. And we'll get to those in a moment. So now we need to declare that action for the broadcast, okay? And that's that's why we were getting that red red line in the service. So let's declare that right now. We'll plug that in right here. And we're declaring that broadcast seek bar and the action here, it's the package name and then send seek bar. We're sending the seek bar information. And then we're also creating a new intent variable called intent. Now if I save this, you'll see, see the red went away in my place service because now we have that action in the activity. Next thing we want to do is we need to set up this broadcast. So we'll do this in the on create. This will go right before init views. We'll do say this int so we have we've already set up service intent. Here's a new intent using the action broadcast seek bar. That sets that up. And then everything else remains the same. And then we have to set up in the listeners. Get rid of this because this is the wrong. One. 
in set listeners, we have to set up a listener for the seek bar so that it, it knows when we've gone in, somebody's gone in there and changed it. So we'll do that. Very simple. We just say seek bar that's set seek bar on change listener. We set it to this. Okay. And this meaning the context myactivity.java. And the last thing we need to do is we need to, when the progress changes down here, this new method that was added when we put in that implements clause, we're going to put some code in there. Let's take this out. Uh, we're saying hey, when the when the progress bar changes, we're going to if from user meaning if a user changed the progress bar, then we say the seek position, which is the variable we're going to send over in our intent is going to be the seek bar where whatever the new position of that seek bar is that's what we're sending over to the uh, service and that about does it if we save this let's make sure we have no errors and let's say format make sure we format everything we've got no errors here and why don't we try to run this thing and see what we get. So first of all I think I need to create a configuration here. So I'm going to make the target. I already have the target. Okay, that's good. And let's just run it then. So let's see what we've got here. There we have I Believe in Love and I'm going to play the song. So you hear the song playing and it's progressing as we like. But now let's pull it over to the middle of the song. So now I'm Partway, partway past the middle, it's seeking, and now it's going to find it, and then it's going to start playing again as soon as it buffers. And there we are. We're at the end of the song. So that's it. So in these last nine tutorials, you've learned how to stream music in a service, create a little dialog box that tells people the music is buffering and then you added a seek slash progress bar that you can see where you are in a song and also pull the position to a different place within the song. The next thing we're going to cover in tutorial 10 is something called state because even though all this works really fine the way I've demonstrated it if somebody is in this application and they leave it and they go somewhere else and they come back in, sometimes you may not see what you are supposed to see because you haven't saved the state of the application at the time that you went to do something else. So what we want to make sure is that we save everything that was showing on your screen so that when you come back to it, you come back to it where you should be on your screen. And I'll explain that more in tutorial 10. See you next time.